Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to RT Share Tea, where respiratory therapists live out loud with me, your host, Linda Fott, the asthma lady. Yes. And welcome back to everybody. And hi to anybody new. And so um, today's topic is in relation to May still being Asthma Awareness Month. Um, I figure we're in the middle of the month, so we might as well talk about Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month and pretty much how to be proactive during this month. So that's the topic for today. But before we talk about that, uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to us on YouTube. We are on Google Podcasts every Wednesday and on Anchor every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And we are also on YouTube on Thursday around the same time. So, you know, a little sketchy, but we're on every Thursday. Um, so, yes, please remember that we are growing together. I'm hoping to have some guest co-hosts um, coming soon. It's in the pipelines. Your girl have been extra busy. I am in demand and it is a good problem. Okay, guys, super busy with the one-year-old podcast and jobs as is, okay? God has been uh, hooking me up. But um, anyway, things are, are coming, all right? So just hang in, hang in there, hang tight. All right, so Asthma Awareness Month, right? Okay, so Asthma Awareness, well, actually, it's Asthma and Allergy National Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month. And it started in 1984 from the Asthma and Allergy uh, Foundation of America organization, right? So, did I say that right? Yes, I did. Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. There's so many organizations out there. I start to get them confused from time to time, but that is the one. So, they started um, National Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month in the month of May. And the reason why they chose the month of May is because May is the peak season of for uh for asthma for folks with asthma and allergies um to get worse. So think about it, basically your pollen season, you know, folks with hay fever, so all these things start to kick in around this time, you know, springtime and the month of May. So it just made sense to make this National Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month. So what you can do as a healthcare provider or as an educator or anybody that advocate for folks with asthma or allergies is just be as proactive as possible around this time. So the AAFA, the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, they have so many activities that you could do during this month. I'm not really going to mention those. You could just go to their website and see what they have every year, how to spread um, asthma awareness and the activities they have surrounding the month. But for those in general <clears throat> who want to do this type of work, what I would tell you to do is A, let um, folks know the facts and when I when I mean the facts is like stuff like folks need to know how expensive of a problem asthma is asthma and allergies are for the country it is an eight it is it is an 80 billion dollar problem for the country because folks go to the emergency room unnecessarily for um, asthma exacerbations when um, asthma can be controlled it can be controlled with um, the right treatment plan, providers, the right medication, and it, it, could, it could be self-managed. And these are the things that we wanna educate patients on and folks that um, take care of those with asthma and parents of um, kids with asthma, right? So we wanna spread um, this type of information and let folks know that there are also disparities um, if in, in regards to fighting asthma. So there are different races that experience higher um, death rates and um, being hospitalized 
uh, for asthma and allergies. And this is mainly because of lack of access to um, insurance, healthcare, education, uh, um, asthma management tools. Um, so these are, you know, social determinants of health, just having access to things, um, just, just having things accessible to you, right? So this adds, or this is what contributes to asthma disparities. And we want to try to give everyone a chance towards asthma control towards gaining um asthma control so for during asthma awareness month we want to spread these type of education and awareness and if we can help them if we can link them to the resources um to manage their asthma this would be great around this time so this would be a great time to do tabling events um if you have access to resources or if you have um i specifically do not believe in just handing folks pamphlets about you know uh, um about awareness or about education um to me that's not really being proactive uh it would be more like you know, when you're doing your, when you do a table display, you want to be enthusiastic about what you're talking about. You want to spit the facts. You want to be able to relate to the person. You want to be able to just show that there is so much that you can do to gain asthma control. So I'm not about the just handing someone a pamphlet and signing a sign-in sheet to show that you was out and about. I'm talking about real, like, you know, uh, um, community awareness and just being out and about and these type of things. So you can also support your local asthma program, your American Lung, uh, American Lung Association, um, in your region. Uh, you can also, uh, support any of the state's, um, programs that, that are out there. You can, support any bills that they have um it governmental bills that they have in supporting um asthma education bills and um i just lost my train of thought i'm sorry guys but yes but anyway what you would basically you just want to support these things during asthma awareness month because what happens is, um, the reason why I do what I do is because I got a patient back in 2008 that, um, was a, you know, was a young boy who was five years old and he unfortunately died of asthma because his grandmother thought he was playing. And so, and it's, it's, it's something that happens often, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if, um, caregivers do not know the signs and symptoms of asthma this can be a miss you understand so sometimes folks really don't know what they're looking at and this unfortunately can contribute to someone like a child just um they could have helped the child but they did not know what they were looking at so understand why we have events like this and why we want to spread education and why we want quality um asthma educators and those that believe in the work and that they are excited to get out there and give patients what they need to manage their own um, asthma. So remember, asthma education is not, asthma management is not about being perfect. It's really about going, moving towards progress. So it's just getting from, I say, not from A to Z, okay? We're not Amazon, all right? I'm talking about going from 8.1 to 8.2 to 8.3. And then eventually, if everything goes well, we will get to B, okay? And B is a good place, okay? Because there is so much going on um, when it comes to gaining asthma control, and um, helping a lot of folks with these social determinants of health. All right, guys. So thank you so much for listening. And before we go, I just want to mention that on Saturday, May 21st, 
Saturday, May 21st, that uh, we have access to eight CEUs for those that need for PFT and or asthma with QHCseminars.com. So I will be speaking on May 21st. That's a Saturday. Get your eight CEUs from home for a good price for $109.99. You go to www.solutionsx2.com. Once again, that's www.solutions, one word, x2.com, or you could go to qhcseminars.com and it will lead you to the seminar. Uh, your girl, like I said, is in demand and she is busy and I love doing this type of work. So if I can help anyone get on this path, I'm all for it. All right, guys. So, and, um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe our content. Uh, like I said, if it helps anyone, if you think this will help anybody, please just share it. All right, guys. So thank you. Sharing is caring. And, um, thank you so much for listening. I hope I helped somebody here today. And remember to invest in yourself and to only compete with yesterday's version of you. Thank you, everybody, and see you next week. Bye.